Hello. In lesson seven, we are going to cover the three column liquid layout and we're going to cover something called float. All right, so let's dig right into it. In order to start out, we need to have a basic structure, okay? The structure is going to look something like this. We're going to have five divs, one called ID header, one called call one, one called call two, another called call three, and another called footer. Okay, and then put some content in here. Header, column one, column two, column three, footer. And then we need to have some CSS. All we want to do is just add an ID selector and a style rule for each, okay? And have a, ba a background color for each of them. So what it's going to look like is this. Okay, we've got kind of a, a big sandwich with five different divs. So why don't you just do this? I'm going to let you pause here so you can uh, get the, the markup structure. And I'll pause here so you can get the CSS structure. Okay, so now we've got that easy stuff out of the way. Let's start digging in. Okay, so we want to have these three columns sit side by side, okay? And we also want to have them have, uh, have a width. I want to have column two is going to be kind of our, our main content area. It's going to be, take up the majority of the space in there. So I'm going to set this one to 60%, okay? width 60%. Now, I've got 40% to play with here between these. Okay? So I could do 20 and 20 if I wanted to. Twenty percent and twenty percent. And if I save this and I refresh it, it's going to look kind of strange right now. See, we've got these three divs that are stacked, 20% wide, 20% wide, and 60% wide. Okay? What we want to do is have them uh, sit next to each other all on the same line. And in order to do this, we're going to use something called float. So I'm going to do float left. Save it. Yep. I'm going to copy it, paste it, paste it. All right. So when I save it, what should happen is all these columns should go snap right up to that top or to the, to the line right below header. And they should be floating next to each other. So save it, refresh it, and sure enough, they do. Nifty, huh? So this is a three column with floats, but it's not quite done yet. Things can get a little bit funny with this. I'm going to get some, some uh, dummy text here. One paragraph. And in column two, put in a paragraph here. I'll put in a couple paragraphs. Save it, refresh it, and oh no, the footer did not follow along with the main content area. What we want to have happen is we want that content or that footer to sit down below all of the columns. Right now, it's it's not going to do that. It doesn't want to do that. In order to make that happen, 
we have to do something. We have to go up to the CSS in the footer and do something called clear. And I'm going to do clear left, save it, and refresh it. My footer should go right down to the bottom. Okay, now what's actually happening here? So when we do a float, it takes whatever we have floated, whatever element we have floated, out of the flow of the document and moves it off to the left. Anything that comes after it ignores it, essentially. Um, and uh, it will just overlap that float. So what we have to have happen is uh, we have to essentially make the uh, those floated elements part of the, the flow of the document. And to do that, we have to use a clear. When we clear on the footer, it's saying that nothing can sit beside that element. Okay? So when we did clear left, nothing can sit on the left side of the footer. So it's not going to allow that footer to float up and sit up at the very top. It's going to go all the way to the bottom below any of those columns. Now, this layout can have some problems with uh, versions of Internet Explorer, especially the older versions, 6 or lower. And in order to fix those problems, we're going to add one little bit of, of CSS here. Display inline. There's a little quirk in Explorer that sometimes doubles uh, D uh, doubles margins when you use multiple floats and this will fix that if we do display inline it's not going to change the way this looks uh, but if you did view this in uh, in older versions of Explorer you might have seen some problems okay so we've got we've got this done this basic three column layout done but it's not quite ready I want to have a little bit of uh, uh, margin on in some of these columns here. I don't want these columns touching one another. I want to have a little bit of space. So what I need to do is add a little something called a gutter. So in column one, I'm going to add a margin 2%. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to column two and column three. Whoops, margin left. I just want to have it on the left side, not on all sides, just on the left side. But if I do this, it's going to cause some problems. I've made it too wide for the entire width of the page. I've gone over 100% in this case. So I have to take some width away somewhere. So I added 2%, 4%, 6%. So right now I'm at 106% width total. So I need to take 6% away from somewhere. So I'm going to take away 2% here. So I'll go to 58. Take 2% away here, 17. And 2% away here. Oops, sorry, 18 and 18. Save it. Refresh it. And now things sit nicely next to each other. Okay, so now we've got the basic layout for a three-column liquid layout. When I shrink it down, it still maintains its, its proper widths, which is very nice. I make it bigger, it'll expand for the size of the screen. Now, the, the, the final fine-tuning of this is really up to you. You can make the widths of these columns whatever you want. You can add whatever colors you want. You can add margins wherever you want. Um, but ultimately, this is a great structure for building a website.